Hey guys, welcome back to the Fatwa Center. This is a brand new question here, submitted and uh, answered actually on the 28th of this last month. The question here is in regards to a Muslim couple adopting a non-Muslim child. So let's read the question. Is it permissible for a Muslim couple to adopt a non-Muslim child? I know that legal adoption is not allowed in Islam. Here the word adoption means guardianship adoption according to the Islamic Sharia. So let's see the answer by the Fatwa Center. If by this legal adoption you mean that the child is traced back to those who nurture him and he, is, he becomes their child who inherit them, if they die and the like, then this adoption is forbidden in Islam. Well, I find that this is very sad because most Islam will not allow a child to actually have a place of belonging. I don't think that just the nurturing, you know, just nurture, nurture him, but, you know, refuse him inheritance or refuse him your name, you know, that he can't be traced back to you, uh, is leaving a child to grow up in an environment where as an adult they're never going to feel that they had a place of belonging or had a true family and I think that psychologically you know this is not healthy let's read on it says however if you mean by guardianship and adoption according to the Sharia this is just nurturing the child and being kind to him without adopting him as one's own child then this is desirable this is desirable and this is among the good morals look at this it's a good moral <laughs> when there is a need for him and in this case there is no difference if the child is from a Muslim parents or non-Muslim parents okay so in Islam you know you're only allowed to have like a guardianship adoption sort of idea uh, where you are doing nurturing and you're being kind to the orphan so let's look back and see historically what Allah says about uh, the orphans and adoption and how the Muslims were um, dealing with it and um, Allah's chastisement in regards to what they were actually doing to these orphans. Um, let's go and look at the Tasfir of Ibn Kathir where we're referring to the Quran uh, chapter 4 ayah 3 about uh, orphans marrying orphan girls all right here we read uh, Allah said if you fear that you shall not be able to deal justly with the orphan girls then marry other women of your choice look at this in other words the Muslims were marrying orphan girls little children but they weren't dealing justly with them so let's see what Allah says about that Allah commands that one one of you is the caretaker of a female orphan and and he fears that he might not give her a dowry that is suitable for a woman of her status he should marry other women now this is troubling because I'm not reading here that Allah at least is acting as the fatwa center is and is, is referring to you know dealing with nurturing the child and being kind to them instead Allah here is only talking about giving them the proper dowry that's that's suitable if you can't give them the proper dowry for her status you should marry other women and of course you know these these children are not women okay because they're they're orphans <laughs> they're orphan girls see <laughs> orphan girls let's read on here let's get to the meat of the problem okay uh, we can read here that uh, Aisha was asked a question okay uh, a man was taking care of a female orphan and he married her although he did not desire to marry her that girl's money was mixed with his and he was uh, keeping her portion from her otherwise this ayah was revealed about his case if you fear that you shall not be able to deal justly okay this is what it was all right and here's the solution right 
Um, okay, Aisha asked the question. Aisha, about the meaning of the statement of Allah, if you fear that you shall not be able to deal justly with the orphan girls, she said, Oh, my nephew, this is about the orphan girl who lives with her guardian and shares his property. Her wealth and beauty may tempt him to marry her without giving her an adequate dowry which might have been given to another suitor. So here we see that the Muslims, uh, they would take in or orphan children and, uh, you know, perhaps these orphan children had some uh, wealth. They had some wealth, her wealth. She came with wealth when she came as, a, as an orphan. Uh, and she had beauty, okay? And that tempted him to marry her, okay? So we're seeing um, greed on the part of the Muslim. Uh, because he's wanting to devour the wealth of the child. Uh, and we're seeing that he's also developed lust for the child. Lust. She's beautiful, a little beautiful little girl, and so he wants her. Okay? Uh, but he's not dealing justly. Okay, so here we read, So such guardians are forbidden to marry such orphan girls unless they treated them justly and gave them the most suitable dowry. Wait a second. So Allah here is allowing the man to marry these little kids as, as long as they treated them justly and gave them the suitable dowry. And of course, we'll read on that, you know, they want uh, them to be um, dealt fairly with their possessions. And but anyway, let's read on. Otherwise, they are ordered to marry women besides them. <laughs> you know, you can marry little kids. If you deal justly with them here, okay, and you give them a suitable dowry, otherwise you have to marry women, other women. Don't don't marry the kids. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just too sick. Uh, Aisha further said, after that verse, the people again asked uh, Muhammad about the marriage with orphan girls, and so Allah revealed the ayah. They ask your instruction concerning the women. Huh? Okay, I don't know why Allah is hiding now all of a sudden the the fact that they're girls. Okay, because they're they're, they're not they're not women. They're 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 orphans. Remember? But somehow, I guess it sounds better, you know, for the sin that Allah is allowing them to do if He refers to them as women. Let's read on. She said Allah's statement in this. Uh, Aya, yet whom you desire to marry, refers to the guardian who does not desire to marry an orphan girl under his supervision because she is neither wealthy nor beautiful. The guardians were forbidden to marry their orphan girls possessing property and beauty without being just to them as they, were, as they generally refrain from marrying them when they are neither beautiful nor wealthy. Oh. This is the morals of Islam, okay? It doesn't matter that they're children and, the, you know, the fatwa center even, you know, wants you to be just nurturing the child and being kind to them, okay? You know, forget about giving them a real home to live in and a place of belonging. But Allah here explains that you can marry these little kids um, because you have developed a lust for their property and their beauty, but you have to be fair with them. So, according to Islam, you're allowed to marry little kids. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, I feel very sad for any child that's adopted by a Muslim family in the Middle East who follow the Sharia law and follow the teachings of Muhammad. Their very physical selves are in jeopardy of being forced into a marriage by their caretaker. Wow. Scary. All right. See you next time, guys. God bless you all. Islam is false.